Oh my god, guys, look how good this logo turned out. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I want to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube logo using Pixlr f totally for free. So let's get straight into it. Um, when Once you're in Pixlr, just click on make new and then click on social and then YouTube profile. Okay, and then just call it whatever you want. Or blaze two. And then click on make. All right, this should pop up. What we're gonna start with is we're going to get a letter. So um, I'm going to add B2. Um, just like so, make it bigger. Of course, um, you can make it however you want. Going to make it pretty big and that's in the middle doesn't look like the middle so if your font isn't um in the middle just center it yourself by yourself because just center it like so all right guys um if you want to get a custom font uh i recommend uh, the fonts.com there's a bunch of fonts if you guys want to use the font i use uh, all you gotta do is uh, click on modern and then I use vampire wars but you guys can use whatever you want we're actually going to be adding a texture to this text if you guys look at my logo it has a texture I'm going to be adding the same texture All right, if you guys have kind of a um, misposition font, a diagonal font, you could just rotate it so it fits the font. Let me make this a bit bigger. Like that, so it becomes diagonal, a diagonal texture. Make sure you have your texture above your text layer. What you're gonna wanna do is select the text and then click on your magic wand tool and then just click in the middle and hold if you have two letters just hold shift and do that now what you're going to want to do is cl right click and select invert selection and then select the background or your texture and press delete on your keyboard then you should have a texture like so as you can see it looks a bit weird so delete the original text layer so it looks better and yeah, that's how you apply textures. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get a background. So I already have a galaxy background. I'm going to select it and copy paste it in. Let me just resize my background here so it fits a bit smaller. gonna make it a tiny bit bigger just like so and then position it kind of like that all right you can pick whichever background you want even though it's the wrong color you can change it later I'm actually going to change the color of my texture here so I'm just gonna click on filter or adjust diamond and this hue and saturation I'm just gonna change it just click on colorize I'm going to change it to a blue let's change it to that all right okay what we're gonna want to do now make sure our backgrounds under yeah then click on adjust hue and saturation click, make sure colorize is on 
Now you can change the color of the background. All right, mess around with it until you find something that you like. I like this, so I'm going to click on add and delete this layer if you want to, like so. All right, guys, now we're going to add a shadow. So select the text, click on filter, drop shadow, and this should come up. Um, set the opacity to 100 and then the blur to zero. So you have a good drop shadow and um, then you can just move it however you want. Uh, uh, that's good. There we go. Now we have a nice drop shadow. All right, click on filter and then outline. And then you change this. So you have an outline on your text. So it looks a bit better. I'm going to set it to that. I think that looks good. Add and boom. Once you guys are done, just click on archive, save, JPG, set this to 100, and then save. All right, and that's going to be the tutorial. If you guys have enjoyed it, like, subscribe, turn notifications. And if you guys need any help, join my Discord server, link in the description. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.